What's going on guys, Will here, and today we are back with another video. I know it's been absolutely ages since I last uploaded, but we're back, 2023, we need to smash it this year. Yes, I am well aware, I'm in need of a shave and a haircut and all sorts. I need to get freshly groomed, but we moved. Currently sitting outside Andrew's football match, recording this intro for the video. So yeah, let's get into it. So let's just give a little bit of an explanation as to where I've been, what we're getting up to in 2023, and then also introduce you to the rest of a video. So over the last few months, I have recorded various videos, but I just haven't been able to put them out because either they've not been completed or they just haven't been of a quality that I want to put out. So I decided to take a couple months out until my surroundings and the rest of my life was in a place where I felt like I could record videos that were good enough to put out onto the channel. As some of you may be aware, I currently am in a situation where I live in a flat which doesn't have any parking, so my car is miles away on the side of a road somewhere. There's nowhere to do stuff with the car. And then also, the only thing I could really be doing is POV videos, which I know do well on the channel, but it's not something I want to do like consistently. So the initial plan was to start 2023 with a bang by uploading every single week but that didn't happen because unexpectedly an opportunity came up for us to buy a house now things aren't over the line yet but hopefully we can get things over the line over the next few weeks and then we can get a moving date and once that's sorted provided everything goes well we should have a space to be able to do stuff to this car to my partner's car and actually record videos for this channel now the house that we're currently putting offer in for is a bit of a work in progress so i was planning on doing a series of doing up that house as well for you guys just to mix up the content have the car content have the house project content and just have a little bit more variety on the channel let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd be interested in i would greatly appreciate the feedback so i'm just going to talk about the 2023 plan what i want to achieve on this channel what i want to do on social media so if that's not for you please skip ahead in the video where we have quite an interesting one in store so just skip using the timeline along the scroll down below so in 2023 obviously i really want to post content weekly on this channel i want to make shorts to do with the content i want to post weekly and make sure that we aim to have some consistency on the channel so that covers the pre-recorded stuff the stuff that goes on youtube and tiktok and youtube shorts and all of that but i also really have a passion for streaming video games so that is also something that I want to do within the new house, but we've got a little area allocated for me to have a studio. And that is something that I really want to get into, just streaming at least three times a week for two hours a day and just get back into video games, stream it with people watching um, and just interactions and have all of that lovely atmosphere online, which is something I've always really dreamed about. So that brings us up to present day, why I took a little bit of a break and also what I want to do this year. Fingers crossed, no hiccups come up and we can keep the consistency. It's something I really want to do. So my aim is to just be consistent with it. Any suggestions for video or content ideas, please leave them in the comments below. You guys know that I always listen to you and that your feedback is very much appreciated. If you do enjoy the video, please remember to hit that like button, comment down below your thoughts and hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. It all helps us small content creators out and I hope to see you around in the future. I'll also leave the links to all my other social medias down below. Please check those out. Drop me a follow. I'll be posting on there throughout the year as well. Also, now that I've mentioned streaming, please see on screen now and in the description below the link for my Twitch account. Give that a follow. Come join us every time we go live on there. I'd very much appreciate it. But now that we're all caught up, let's get into the video. So this was a video idea which I had because I'm sure you guys have had the same where you look at your mileage on your car where it says estimated miles remaining in the tank and it always seems to go down a lot quicker than what the computer says. I don't know if it's just me and this Audi, but every single time it gets to like the last 100 miles and it feels like it goes down after about 10. So my idea was I had a long road trip for an away game for Andrews football and I thought, Do you know what? Let's put this clock to the test. Let's do a full tank, reset the trip, see how much miles it says estimated and see if it's lying to me. Let's see if we can actually get the amount it says can we get more or will it fall off at the end and fall short? So without further ado, let's get into the video. It's a short one, but it's a good experiment that I wanted you guys to see. If it is the computer or if it's just my brain tripping out, 
let's see let's get into the video so i'm hoping future me has recorded the intro because it's way too dark to do it here but we're now setting off on the journey i've already been driving for 50 minutes this morning dropping off the dog at my mum's so now we just need to go get some food go get petrol be on the journey and we can begin the experiment let's do it time to secure the goods Apparently it is a 272 mile journey. Apparently I'm gonna get 500 miles to the tank. I know it's extremely dark, I'm just parked up in a petrol station, but I personally do not think we're gonna get 500 miles out of it before we need to fill up. Um, obviously we won't go right down to minimum because I will have to fill up. I mean, it's 272 miles there, 270 miles back. Maybe we can try and stretch 40 miles and do the whole journey, but I very much doubt it. So we'll see how far we can get with it and how accurate it actually is. So yeah, let's get started. So we are like an hour and a half into the trip. Um, 110 miles down, 460 to go, so 161 to get there. We should be okay if it holds up, but I just doubt it will. But we'll see. The journey so far has actually been all right. It's been very chilled, not a lot of traffic, listening to music, jamming, listening to all kinds of music as well. So I'm doing all right in a minute. So yeah, see you soon. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but the clouds are incredibly low. So we've got bits of fog here and there. But yeah, all part of the experience. I think we might be going into one now. Hundred forty miles left in the tank, 221 miles done. We still have 48 miles to go. So it's looking positive so far. This is an update as we look at how long we've been driving. Four hours and 16 minutes in the car. Obviously the journey, I think we started a little bit late and obviously I've done the journey beforehand as well. So we've got about 45 minutes left until we're there. I'll tell you what, the one, the one thing I love about this journey is just how easy it is. It's literally like, from my mum's house is just two roads, two long straight roads, and then you're there. So yeah, it's been an easy one, no traffic, no incidents. So it's been plain and smooth sailing. Hopefully it's the same for the rest of the journey and hopefully it's the same on the way back as well. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. So far, it's looking like the CPU is fairly accurate. Although, like I said, it does drop a lot in the last 100 miles, so it's going to be a tight one, I reckon. So I have just arrived at the destination ready for the game, and the verdict is in. We are currently 295 miles to go, 270 used. So in theory, we should be just about okay. However, like I said, the last 100 miles goes down so rapidly, so I still think we're not going to make it. But we'll see how far we can get. If we can get another 200 miles, 231 miles, it's been accurate. If we can't, then the conclusion is that it's inaccurate. But we shall see. I've been driving very economically all the way here. Hopefully we don't get stuck in any traffic on the way back and it'll be the same. Let's go and enjoy the game of football first and then we'll conclude this experiment. So game will finish, got the three points, which is amazing journey well spent. So now it's time to see the rest of this experiment. It's saying 274 miles until we get back home with 295 left in the tank. So it's gonna be a close one, but we just need 230 and then the challenge will be complete and successful. So we have been driving for about an hour now and we just have done 330 miles. So we've got 170 more to go and it's looking promising, but we'll see. Currently 
two hours in. We've done 386 miles, and according to the onboard computer, we have 155 left to go. Um, with 155 exactly on the clock. That being said, I still don't think it's gonna last, but it's looking promising and it is holding up. It's variable. The traffic obviously didn't help us, but it didn't make too much of, a, of an impact. We're currently averaging around 50 miles per gallon, which is about normal to be fair. So yeah, we're not doing too badly. Let's continue on. And let's hopefully prove that the Audi's onboard computer is right. The sun is setting. We've now done 410 miles. We've got 125 miles in the tank and about 127 miles to go. So I'm confident we're gonna reach the 500 minute uh, mark. Getting home, not so sure. But let's see how it goes. See 95 miles left on the clock, we've done 446 and 94 miles until we get home. I think we're gonna smash the 500 and probably don't get home, let's see. So 60 miles left in the tank, 479 miles done. We're so close to proving that it is in fact accurate. We still have 62 miles to go, so I think I am definitely gonna have to fill up. But apart from that, I will see you near the finish line. I have just had my Cleese refuel light turn on with 20 miles to go. Surely we'll be okay. Let's find out. I'm driving so economically, as you can see, just to try and make it last as long as possible. So is it my driving or is it the computer? We'll see. And there you have it, 500 miles, 40 miles left in the tank. It wasn't lying, we'll go to 505 just to make sure. There you go, 505 miles, we're still 35 miles, still to go. We've got about 38 miles until home though, so hopefully it'll last, but I think I'll have to fill up. Uh, I started the day, 4443 miles. Now this tank has, well, I've done it obviously like 35 miles, then we up, but this tank has got me to 45,000 miles in my car. 517, 18 miles, 20 miles left in the tank. I think it's definitely time to fill up now before we run out of fuel, because we've got 22 miles left until home, so I don't think we'll make it. So yeah, let's look for a petrol station. Found a petrol station with 15 miles to spare, let's get filled up. So yeah, currently half six, um, just put another 30 pound in, we've got another 230 miles, which will get me um, to home, uh, or, which will get me to my mum's, pick up the dog, then back to home, and should be enough to get me to work as well during the week. So just filled up, that's all sorted. Let's go see the doggy and then get home so that is going to be the end of the video guys i hope you very much enjoyed it it's the first video back so it wasn't really a in-depth one but it was just a social experiment to see if the miles did last and in fact they did prove me wrong if you enjoyed the video please remember to leave a like and a comment down below let me know your thoughts also hit that subscribe button and ding dong that notification bell that way you can stay tuned every time i upload that's gonna be all today guys i'll see you guys next week peace out